So one of the things I've been finding just talking to a lot of agents around Australia right now is that getting the objection around commission. Now, if you saw one of my previous videos just recently, I talked about salesmanship skills. You know what? That's what the traits of the greats do. They actually get back to the basics and start learning some really good dialogue to help them win more business, move more liftings, and you know, defend their fee and defend commission. So my question to you is, if I gave you a fee objection right here, right now, and you're in a lounge room, how would you be able to overcome that objection? Would you have like three, four, five, or maybe six types of dialogues in the back of your mind that you could just naturally come out with? Or would you be like coming from a place of fear going, oh, please don't ask me about my commission, I have to defend it. That's the thing you need to ask yourself. You see, one of my great coaches and mentors, Bobby Bolan, he was from Michigan. I saw him at 1996 at one of the first Eric's, and he said to me, when he started to coach me, he said, Claudia, I want you to learn about five or six of these dialogues that you internalize and they become you. So every time you get a commission objection in someone's lounge room, you'll be able to overcome it just like that. And you know what? I went, I practiced, rehearsed, practiced, rehearsed, practiced, rehearsed. And like anything, like a skill, you get confident, then you get competent. And then when someone asks you, your fee's a little bit high, your commission's a little high, I would used to answer something along the lines of, you know what, Tom? I understand how you feel and you know I've got other clients that I've worked with who have felt like you the same way, thinking that the commission is a little bit high. But what my best clients have found is they've actually seen the value in me, not at the beginning of the transaction here today, you and I talking, but right at the end of the transaction. But I do want to say one thing, Tom, is I don't want to let fee get in the way of us working together. Yes, there'll be agents out in the marketplace that will offer you a cheaper fee, but at the end of the day, what looks like a saving today, which is false, could cost you in equity tomorrow. So you need to decide today, do you want someone who's a strong negotiator that will actually go out there and get you top dollar for your home? Or do you want an agent that has a discounting mentality, which is probably already in their DNA, and that's gonna follow through when they start to negotiate on your home with that buyer? Who do you want, Tom, a strong negotiator who's in the arena of results? Or would you prefer an agent that has a discounting mentality and he's there just to do the transaction and not defend your home and your price and protect it to get you the best dollar? Look, there's a couple of dialogues there that you just heard that I learned that back, I don't know, where are we in, 2017? That was like 21 years ago I learned those dialogues. Here's the thing, you start learning them, they become embedded in your mind. And every time I get asked about a fee, that's what I used to come out with, a little bit of a dialogue around that. So one thing you wanna know is understand the value of you and what you're worth and start to defend it. And the only way you're gonna to start to defend it is know about five or six different dialogues that when you're in someone's lounge room, you'll be able to win and defend your fee each and every time.